Uh huh. Taught me too well, Uncle. You taught me too well. Oh, baby. All right. It's climbing up a little bit just for story. What? Oh, well, I don't know what to pick. Honor his wish for death. Or let him live and walk away. Both of these are good. Confirm! Oh, the story is delightful. The story is... Mm, we'll talk about it. Oh. We had to honor his wishes. This song, though. And now it's time for a post-mortem. Well. Let's go. So. Ghost of Shishima. What a game. What a game. The story is phenomenal. From the main story to the side missions, which to me, the the, the side missions without a face, so without a, a named character, those are inconsequential. I wouldn't even recommend doing those. Uh, just a waste of time, in a sense. But uh, Masoko's story, even Kenji's is okay. Sensei's story, amazing. Nukryo. Phenomenal story. Yuna's really good. Oh, so, so good with the stories. I loved it. The way they did the storytelling. A little bit weird with the exposition dumps when you're riding horses, but, I mean, they had to do something. The story was phenomenal. The music. Let's keep the good going here. The music is so good. I bought the soundtrack. 
I love it. I've listened to it several times through. It's phenomenal. Just beauty everywhere. So good. Hey, Ice, what's going on? Yeah, the music is just unbelievably good. Definitely buying the soundtrack. I recommend it. It's quite good. The pacing is a little bit weird with the gameplay. I don't quite get what it is they were going for uh, with how they tried to pace it out. There are not, it's not an overabundance of things to do, but there's a lot of stuff to do. Let me lower this music just a tad. Lower it even more for me. Something about that bird that constantly is telling you, hey, there's a thing here, really takes you out of it. And I don't know if it's the shrines that it's basically the same thing, but a little bit of a different traversal puzzle, or if it's the following the fox den to something, to a thing that gives you an ability that you don't really want to use. The technique system not really being worth your time. The stance system kind of being overwritten by being able to just do whatever in a fight. I mean, it, you could essentially just resolve buff your character. Because there's tons of those where you're just constantly getting resolve back and you're just crushing everything. So, I didn't play the game on a hard difficulty because only hard existed when I started the game, and I figured that would be too much for me. Because it often is. What can I say? I'm old. So we played on medium, which was not very difficult until we got to the boss fights. So we'll come back to the pacing. I think the boss fights are just odd. I knew there would, be, would have been a couple more duels that we could have done, uh, with the mythic quest to get, I think, one of the swords or the armor or something like that. But at that point, I was just quested out. Because after the first island, I did so much stuff there, I didn't care to do anything else. I had all my skills maxed out that I wanted to use and didn't feel worth my time to continue doing that on the second part of the island or definitely not on the third. I feel like you could get through this game pretty quickly if you mainline the story, which the back two-thirds is pretty much how I played it. The first part of the island was a, a joy to discover stuff, but to then see that the second part, like, that's how it was going to be exactly the same. <sighs> that wasn't as fun. So that's what I mean with the, the boss fights the and the pacing. The boss fights didn't feel like they offered anything too different. You figured out what stance you had to use, and then you kind of just did what you did throughout the rest of the game. I really enjoyed some of the, the con at the end, the, the first time you fight him. That was awesome. Because it was actually kind of hard. Because he did some varied attacks that were confusing for, for my old brain. Um, oh, I forgot about uh, Rizu. His quest line was really good too, and his boss fight was awesome. That one was was kind of tough for me because the the whole Ronin technique that they were doing <clears throat> was just really, really unexpected. I wonder if there could have been more boss fights. I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those games where if you just constantly did all of the stuff, even unlocking the techniques which unlock uh, basically the exploration part of it, I think the game wouldn't be any fun, <laughs> which is why I stopped doing that. Because I was exploring all the stuff, I was doing all of the missions, all the non... Uh, 
person-based side missions. I was doing all the points of interest, all the farmsteads, all the wood. I was doing everything on that first island, and it was tedious. The ending of this game is how you end a game. You give us a big old choice that'll sway people one way or sway people another way. Now, I don't know what happened the other way. I have no idea. I don't think I'll, I'll probably look it up, but it was a good game. I don't know what that means to anybody anymore because we don't give we don't really give ratings around here. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. Now what's this? The double con fight was fight was weird. Yes, that was awful. The stealth. Oh, I didn't even talk about the stealth. The stealth is broken for a game of, for wanting you to be a ghost and do it. So broken. That's why, if we would rate the game, it would be slightly less. You know, it, it wouldn't be on the top shelf. It would be on like the shelf right below that. Not the middle shelf. The one above the middle shelf. It's a good game. Epic, epic drama battle at the end. It was great. I said it even. I said it even. If we fight our uncle here, this game could be like up there in, you know, a, a game of the year conversation for me. And for story, it might be. Whew. Story, music. Just excellent. It's delivery of everything else. Not so much. Got some different armor. Cool. Got all these mementos from our friends. Wonderful. All white like a goat. Yeah, it just it looks cool. Oh, the poison. No boo! Our horse that died. Oh. I almost cried when our horse died. No boo. Just the way our horse died. Oh, broke my freaking heart. It was brutal. He died saving us. Oh. That kind of sacrifice. Oh, the Harangi. <laughs> Eureka. Oh, yeah, Yuri. I remember Yuri. Anything else in here? Oh, there is. 
Taka. Taka was good. Is it like bombs or something? True, yeah, she went through a lot. Holy frick. It looks alright. We're redecorated. Oh. Bring that audio back. Shimakara so this is how they get so you can actually do the rest of the island. Liberate Tsushima from Mongol presence. Jesus. That's a lot of stuff to do. Oh boy. Doesn't that just make you not want to do it? <laughs> oh. What a game. What a game. Took a couple of weeks to get through this with my schedule. I miss a couple things. Tomo's bow. A hot spring. All right, we'll give you guys one last uh, Where's it at? Can we get in? Where's it at? One last entry. Get your last butt cheek, okay? Enjoy. There you go. You're welcome. Reflect on... Favorite foods in my poison? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was really good. I wish that uh, maybe I'd beaten it a little faster. That's only because it was good. We explored everything there is to explore in here. Yeah, the amount of stuff. 
that you can do seems just insane. And I don't want to do any more of it. Whew. That's, uh... Over here. Yeah. What a game. Yeah, we'll put it in, put it in rest mode. We'll play it other uh, time, just not on stream. Game is done. Holy. 